Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to use my new JPL version 4 program. To start the program, press program, press alpha, then J, scroll down to JPL 4, press enter, press enter again. If you get an error, then you have an outdated calculator, and you will need to update it to at least OS 5.3.0 or above. This is the intro screen. From here you can either decrease or increase the brightness view credits, and, most importantly, start the game. Here we have the build menu. Currently we are in the part selection phase. You can tell because there is a mouse cursor in the little button down there. To select a part, you can press up or down arrows, and to select different versions of each part, use the left or right arrow keys. So the build to select a part, all you need to do is hover over the part you want to select, press second. It will now move it to the build area. From here, you can now use the arrow keys to move the part around, and when you finally have a good place you want to place it, press second. Now to, you can tell you're in the build menu because there's a hammer there. To go back to selecting a part, you'll want to click the hammer by pressing graph. Now you can go and select another part. Select it. You can place multiple of each parts. There. Now we have a basic craft. So what can you do with this now? Now, if you can press and hold graph, it will bring up a menu. From here you can launch your craft, which will save it. Save your craft, which will immediately save it, then exit back to the build. Load your last craft, make a new craft, or go back to building. If you click that, it will just go there. So here, I just like to save the craft. Now. What if I wanted to create a new craft? Well, I'll just press this button, and now it's gone. What if I want to edit that craft again? Simply press and hold this, and load the craft. That is a bug, and will be fixed before the program is released. So let's launch this craft. Press and hold this, and press launch. We are now at the gameplay screen. So the goal of the game is the Maneuver your craft through falling checkpoints, try and rack up the highest score as possible. This is a scrolling star background. <laughs> so, once you get the score 500 or so, the uh, checkpoints slowly start speeding up and fall faster and faster. When you lose, a little explosion animation will occur and it will tell you you have crashed. To go to continue, press second. It will go back to the build menu. What if you want to improve that craft? Simply press and hold this and go load it. Now we can go back and improve the craft. So what are some more advanced ways we can edit this? Well, if you press mode, you can rotate the part clockwise. And if you go select, whoop, if you go select a part, then you go back to selecting a part, and you go to this empty blank space and press second. It brings up that last part. But now, if you press mode to rotate it, it creates a completely new design, which you can now place anywhere on your craft. This can create some very intriguing designs. such as this. I guess we can put that there. So now if I didn't want that there, we can delete the part by simply clicking delete. Then delete. What if I didn't want to act actually delete it and I want to undo that? 
That is what the alpha key is for. It will undo what you immediately just did. So since I want to actually delete this, I'll click delete. Another feature is if you hover over a part, then you go back to selecting, then you go to select a different part and you select that. You'll see it overlays it on top of the other part. If you press second again, completely place it, and now you have a brand new custom part for you to use. Now let's launch this. So another feature is you can use Y equals or or the graph button to move your graph left or right. What if your checkpoint is very far away from you though and as the score makes your checkpoints fall faster and faster how will you get to it when it's all the way on the other side of the screen? That's what window and trace are for. Window and trace makes your graph move twice as fast to the left or the right, but it will cause your score to decrease. How much it decreases depends on how high your score is. The higher the score, the more, the faster it will be decreased. When your OMS is active, you will get a notification up on the status bar that your OMS is in But that's all for now. To exit this program, simply press clear. This will thank you for playing and ask you to please vote for this for Chemitech Contest 22. Press second to fully quit. It will fade out and go back to your home screen. Now what happens if your program crashes? If the program crashes while you're using it? I actually have not found any game breaking instabilities currently, so I will manually reset the calculator. Now you get this nice notification that so that informs you, uh-oh, the game crashed, which hopefully is obvious to you. If this if it continues, here's a topic link on where to report the bug. Simply press second to continue to the main game. This has been a tutorial on how to use my new JPL program version 4. Thanks for watching.